Uh, so let's go ahead and just copy and paste that down and modify each one accordingly. Uh, so we don't need to change the emoticon class, they all belong to the same class. We'll do a sad face and a wide smile. And uh, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and refresh the page and we see we've got these three buttons which are all clickable. Now, we've completely done the front end of things with regards to uh, you know the, the HTML that's displayed, uh, but inside ext.js, which I've also included on my page, uh, obviously in addition to jQuery, uh, is how we're gonna handle the clicking of each button uh, and the placement of it inside the comment area. So inside ext.js or x.js, uh, this is where we're going to write out our jQuery code. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is actually wait for jQuery or the document to be ready and this is when the DOM uh, is accessible and it's been uh, initiated or initialized. So we use document here and then dot ready uh, that's just a I guess an event on onto this uh, selector here uh, and then we run this function and the contents of ins inside of it. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do uh, once we've loaded our document and it's ready, we want to go ahead and assign um, an event handler to each Emoticon uh, class or each element that's associated with this particular class. So what we do is we go ahead and use a selector and we use uh, a dot for the class name and then we write Emoticon. Emoticon, yeah. Uh, then we assign uh, an event handler and this is click obviously with the buttons that we have we go ahead and actually click on them so that's the event handler uh, that's handling that and then inside we have a callback function as well and then inside of this this is the code that's going to run when we actually click on uh, one of these buttons now we need to find a way to first of all get the value of the text area so we can append this particular um, value onto it. For example, when we click this, we're going to receive the value attribute, which is a, a colon and then a uh, an ending parenthesis. Same with this, a colon and a starting parenthesis, and this and a D. So we want to grab the particular value associated that with that, as well as the value of the text area. So we need two variables. The first one is text area val, and the second one is emoticon val. Val. And we are going to, for the text area val, is uh, quite simple. We want to go ahead and just reference the comment area or use a selector to select the comment area and then use val to obtain the value uh, and that's the value in between uh, this text area here, so here. And that's everything that the user would have typed uh, in that session. So let's go ahead and grab the emoticon value. So once we press a button, we need to find out first of all which, well, we don't need to find out which button has been pressed, but we want to only grab the value of this uh, for the button that's been pressed. So we need to go ahead and reference, uh, well, we don't actually, this is the way that we would usually do it, uh, emoticon dot attribute, and you take the value attribute from there. And the value attribute, remember, is here. So it essentially takes this value that you're first of all displaying to the user uh, and now we're grabbing it. However, what this selector does is, is it selects all elements on the page with the Emoticon class. So what we're actually doing here is we're selecting uh, a smiley face, a sad face, and then a wide mouth uh, face. So we don't want to use this, but this we want to, uh, instead we want to use this. And this means that whichever Emoticon is clicked, we get the attribute associated with the currently clicked element. So we can go ahead now and just alert these out in a turn to check that we've got the um, everything correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and alert text area val, and then I'm also going to go ahead and alert emoticon val. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is refresh. I'm gonna type something in here, so something in here and I'm going to go ahead and click this smiley face. The first thing we should see is the contents of this text area and the second thing we should see is the smiley face. Uh, and We'll do the same for the sad and the massively happy face as well. So something in here we've correctly retrieved the value of this text area and now you see that we've got a smiley face and we press OK and that's it. Uh, press the sad face, the text area value and then the sad face and then last but not least, something in here and then the massively happy face. So now that we've done that, we know that what we can do is we can append this emoticon value onto this text area value, i.e. at the end of it, uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, 
substitute the uh, the you know conjoined values so text area then emoticon we can uh, place that back in the text area so what we want to do is we want to say uh, comment in here so that's the div that we're referencing or the uh, the text area that we're referencing uh, and we want to say val and then we can place a particular value in here for example uh, test uh, this will just place uh, if we click in here that will just place test in here now what we want to do is when we click a button we want to grab the text area value append a smiley face to the end of it uh, and then re uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and then uh, like re put this back in uh, so essentially what we do is if we type something when we click the smiley face this would create the temporary uh, contents as this uh, and then it would remove the contents before that and just place this back in uh, so hopefully that makes sense it's simpler than it sounds and sim definitely simpler than I've explained it so the value that we want to put in is obviously the text area val and then we want to append on a space and then the emoticon val so we're just re-putting this text area value back into the box. Uh, Val uh, will actually remove all content and then just re-put this content in. Uh, if we were to use something like append, uh, it would uh, act, I guess, in the same way. Uh, but in this case, we're using Val. Uh, and then after that as well, we'd want another space. And we're going to deal with these spaces in just a moment uh, because remember at the start of the tutorial, I mentioned that we uh, don't want to add a space if there's no contents inside. So let's go and have a look at this and see what we have. If we go ahead and type in hello and click the smiley face, you see that we get a smiley face with a space here and a space here. 